We are back with some Elestros gameplay, and I know we've been doing a lot of videos on Elestros, but guys, I love the game. I love the game. At first, it started as an ad, and naturally, as I kept playing the game, I genuinely love Elestros right now. So we're going to have another Elestros gameplay video. Even after my sponsorship is done with Elestros, I will be continually playing the game. Not only do I want to be the best ego player in the world, but in such an early game state of Elestros, such an early part of Elestros, I mean, let, how many Elestros players are there? Like 1,000? I know that I'm one of the best in the world already, so I want to continue playing the game and become number one at this as well. So I'm going to have world championships at Yu-Gi-Oh! and at Elestros. Let's go. If you guys love what you see in this game, make sure to check out the Kickstarter down below where you guys can learn more and pick up your starter decks and play with me. My brother, he's no match for me, so I want some new victims. Check out the starter decks in the Kickstarter. I will be playing Trifernal, which is one of my favorite decks, and my brother will be playing my favorite deck, and that is Pentera. These are my favorite starter decks, which you guys can get now on Kickstarter while you can on the Founders Edition. So it's really cool. Similarly to, you could imagine it, like having a, a first edition Yugi and Kaiba starter deck, but even better. Can you imagine that 10 years from now? That's worth billions of dollars. Especially when I become the world champion of Illustrials. I'm already the world champion of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's get started. My brother's gonna go first. If you guys don't learn how to play this game in depth, there are multiple. I'm gonna put some guides down below. You can check out my first gameplay video where I go in depth talking about Illustrals and I'll explain everything in depth. My brother's gonna go first and he's going to cast a normal enchant here, a Elechick. Elechick's effect is it allows my brother to search in his deck to search a spirit one, wind spirit one with an enchantment cost of one. So he's not allowed to go in his deck to get a uh, wind spirit with enchantment cost of three or anything like that. And he's going to pass his turn there. I'm going to uh, normal enchant. I'm going to cast my Necroft. And my Necroft will, with enchantment cost of one, the cards like this are very powerful because they're just an enchantment cost of one. Cards like Necroft and Elechick, these, they are just because they're enchantment cost of one with high attack and they have some extra value. For example, Elechick's effect, when you cast it with just one enchantment cost, that's four attack as well. And on top of that, it replaces itself by being a plus one. Similarly in Yu-Gi-Oh, plus ones are very important. So cards like this, I love. When I play the Pentary deck, I love cards like that because it's a plus one and it gets you the best card. In my opinion, that deck, which is Hydrake. So when he gets, my brother gets Hydrake, it's the idea of his deck is, think of Hydrake like a Mystic Tomato. And when it brings up the second Mystic Tomato, which is Twindra, Twindra has five star enchantment cost of two. When that second Mystic Tomato gets destroyed, it brings up the boss of the deck, which is Pentair, Penvis deck. And that has an, a massive, massive attack of 13. Uh, so it's absolutely absurd. And then when that dies, it brings, when that gets sent to the underworld, it brings even more. So that's crazy. And my card is Necroft. Necroft has an attack of five enchantment cost of one. And its special effect is when it destroys an Elestral by battle. It, my opponent has to expend one spirit from their spirit deck so and for those who want to know the idea of this deck uh, the idea of the game it's very similar uh game style of Yu-Gi-Oh of attack defend instead of a normal summon you have an enchantment cost of one every single turn you could cast only once per turn normal cast once per turn and instead of life points it's a spirit deck and we uh, think of it's not like mana it's a little different it's way easier don't worry guys it's actually very easy to understand the game especially when, when you watch a few videos of it uh and this instead of a life points of 8,000 is a spirit deck of 20 when it goes to zero you lose and your spirit is also your life your mana is like your life points so that's your spirit so we're going to continue with the video now so now i'm going to enter the battle phase my necroft will destroy his illustral by battle once my necroft destroys his illustral by battle he has to expend one spirit from his spirit deck that is my necroft special effect and because it has five attack it's very difficult to deal with for just a enchantment cost of one the card's actually insane so here my brother with an enchantment cost of one is going to summon his boom bat now boom bat is very powerful it's uh kind of like man eater bug a little bit what boom bat does you can disenchant one thunder spirit from boom bat to destroy one illustral on the on your opponent's field so because it only had one it gets destroyed automatically so it gets destroyed however if it had two thunder spirits underneath it would survive but here, my Necroft gets destroyed at the cost of his Boom Bat. So we can go back into the duel now. This does leave my brother's field wide open. So I'm going to summon. I don't like this uh, Elastral Cinder. I don't think it's very powerful. It's actually very shit in my opinion. Uh, expend, uh, expending three, uh, three spirits from his main deck doesn't really do too much. I don't really care too much for that. Uh, he's going to uh, then destroy my Elastral with, this, with his Rune. Uh, which is fine with me. I mean, I don't care. Cinder is... Uh, not that powerful and we're going to go on to my brother's turn now i'm actually my hand is set up right now i'm trying to set my brother up i want my brother to summon strong cards he summons hydrake right now so i knew he has hydrake i knew he had it i was waiting for him to do it hydrake is his best monster because hydrake will get the twin tindra 
Twin Drive, which will get to Pentera. I do not want this Pentera to the field. So I was saving a bunch of my cards, uh, waiting for this exact moment uh, for him to expend as much as possible and then destroy his Olestros. I put, this is a very powerful card, Spootier, which I put in defense. Uh, I casted my Spootier in defense, which allows me to search for an artifact from my deck. And my brother is now going to uh, use his Olestro, uh, which which searches a Stadium Rune from his deck as Jolton. It's very, I'm actually, just like after a few duels, I'm already like memorizing these cards, these Olestros off by bat, off, off the top. I, I really like this game. I can't wait to keep, continue playing it. I actually really enjoy it. Uh, so we're going to see what my brother will do now for the rest of his turn. Uh, I for, I personally believe I'm in the driver's seat because I know my hand is very powerful. I He can't really deal with much. It's Nectar of the Gods. Nectar of the Gods is one of the best cards in all of Elestros. It's a pot of greed. However, it does require an enchantment cost of two. So it is a high enchantment cost. However, being able to draw two cards in this game is truly wild. Uh, the cards I'm going to have now, I'm easily going to be able to out whatever my brother has. So here, I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to act activate my Stadium Rune. Because if I activate my Stadium Rune, my brother could activate his Stadium Rune on top of that. And it'll make it so my Stadium Rune will have to go to the Underworld, which is similar to a Graveyard in Yu-Gi-Oh. I do not want that, because <laughs> that will stop my play. Here, I do a very cool play. So I'm going to active. I'm going to be uh, utilizing the Nexus mechanic. A few Elastros and Runes have a Nexus effect. So if it says Nexus in the name, you have the capability of removing spirits from other from your field onto itself or other cards depending on what the nexus effect claims it is so my elestral uh for an enchantment cost of one has an incredible ability that allows me to nexus two spirits from anywhere on my field to itself and in doing so destroys one elestral on the field and just like that uh i use my hammer for festus just to have two fire enchantment costs underneath it and i just removed the fire spirits to add it to my Elestral to destroy by effect his Hydric. So Hydric will not trigger because it was not destroyed by battle. It was destroyed by an effect. And then I just enter the battle phase, attack his monster, and attack his, his spirit deck. So just like that, I'm saving this massive play. It's important. Just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to save your toolbox Elestrals. Any Elestral that says destroy one card, destroy one rune, destroy one monster, one Elestral, save these toolbox Elestrals. My, my brother activated a card here that is like card destruction. It makes both of us discard our hand and add a new hand. This is good for me because he is losing cards for nothing. This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh's a neg. So let him lose his Elastros. Let him lose his runes. I do not care. Here I see my brother set two runes. And he's going to uh, cast his own Nexus Elastro. It has four attack points. But because of his Stadium rune, it gets five attack. So he's able to destroy my Elastro. Uh, his stadium rune, uh, I recognize he had so he had to activate his stadium rune to out my Elestro, but now this is why my stadium rune is going to just play over his, so his Elestro, his stadium rune is gone. So this is huge for us, and I do not see how my opponent, or how my brother could actually come back from this because my plus is going to be massive. Uh, there's I have so many cards on my hand at the moment, and I activate rune earthquake. Earthquake allows me to. I uh, expend two, uh, two spirits to destroy, target and destroy one Elastro on the field. So now that my brother's Elastro's, uh, now that my brother has almost no cards left, his Elastro's are off the field. He almost has no runes. I have like six cards in my hand to my brother's one. Uh, there's not much my brother can do here. So here I'm going to continue getting advantage. I cast my Jolton and my Jolton will allow me to search my deck for a stadium rune and continually slowly poke him for one. The spirit counters are going lower and lower. My brother's going to uh, lose soon. Here he casts Hydrake. So Hydrake is a problem for me. However, his Pantera got expanded to the Underworld. So I don't care for his Hydrake or Twin Drake anymore. So I can freely enter the battle phase and attack both. In doing so, he's slowly going to be losing spirit uh, cards from his spirit deck. So this is planned. And my Necroft is just too powerful. It's true, like, he is in a really rough position. My brother has two spirits uh, cards left in his spirit deck. So it's very difficult. He used, My brother uses Ambrosia, which is a powerful card. It allows him to essentially get two more spirits from his underworld to his spirit deck. So this is very good for my brother. Very good for my brother. Uh, but it's still not going to be enough. This is, my brother just does not have enough. Uh, he casts his Elestro, but this is not enough. I have a full hand. My brother has no hand left. And... Uh, there's, there's just not much he can do here. Uh, he has a situation here uh, where he could Nexus if he wants, but if he does so, his card will will get destroyed. So he opts for another play. I'll uh, power up his 
Twindra, it seems. I don't think this is the best play in the world because my brother is recognized like he's going to lose. Pigas will, the, the effect of Pigas when it gets ca casted, normal enchanted, it has the ability to destroy my rune. But however, my Necroft and his Twin Drake are the exact same attack and he has no more Pen Terrors left in his deck. So this is, this is huge for me. I, li I literally just need to enter battle phase and he 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 loses. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cast here my Blazers. This card is the Blazers is one of the best lustres in the game because it can attack twice and has an attack of seven. And if it destroys two lustres, I can summon Trifernal. But Trifernal's in my hand. My brother passes. Nothing you can do. I summon Trifernal. Trifernal, baby, this is the boss of my deck. So cast my Trifernal and destroy my brother. What a great game. Trifernal versus Pentair. Pen best deck, baby. Let's go. Pentair versus Trifernal. I'm loving it. I, some of you guys might be confused on how to play the game. That's fine. You can check out gameplay tutorials on my channel as well as the Illustrious channel. Check out the Kickstarter down below where you could pick up the starter decks and play for yourselves. I think this game is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.